Holden LaCroix. All right, talk around the town is a big earthquake off the Oregon coast, and it was indeed, but it's not a huge concern, and I'm going to show you why. You can see the approximate location. It's at the Cape Blanco Fracture Zone, about 175 miles off the coast of Bandon, and the big story, an important detail right here is this transform boundary. That means the plates are sliding side by side. You're not creating as much water displacement as if we had one right here. This green line is anything but green. It's the Cascadia subduction zone. So whenever we have an earthquake on that one, that poses more concern. This earthquake is not even close to that. So that's why we're not concerned about this with any tsunami threat. We don't have a big displacement of water. Whenever you have a plate subducting other under another one, that is a big drop in the ocean and that creates a big wave. And that's what we would see on the Oregon coast. This minimum water displacement, and it's also a little bit further offshore, no concern of a tsunami. We could have a couple of aftershocks, but it is well offshore. In fact, we've had some earthquakes inland, and the reason why is whenever we get bigger earthquakes offshore, you can kind of feel the rippling effects inland, and that's what we've seen. You can see the uh, smaller 4.5 earthquake just north of Prineville, as well as one up toward Mount Adams, but that's a different story up there. So they've been monitoring uh, volcanic activity up there. But here's uh, across areas of the Cascades right now where snow is starting to accumulate and if you uh, watch the four o'clock newscast it was just now getting going at Willamette Pass but Matt the snow is just now getting going looks strange even though it is uh, late October of course now to a crime alert